Hey everybody, this here is Sarge. He is a flea bit gray thoroughbred. Kind of short for a thoroughbred. I'm 5'11". His uh, weathers are right about uh, the base of my neck. Anyways, we're not here to talk about him. Uh, I'm just using him as a model for the Australian saddle. Uh, did not I did not know anything about Australian saddle until about a couple years ago. Um, my daughter started taking horse lessons. She's 10 now. And uh, she's really been in love with horses ever since she was a little bitty. And uh, I started taking horse lessons with her as a way to spend time with her because at that time I was spending a lot of time gone on the road um, for work. So uh, I started off uh, riding in a western because that's what I had ridden off and on throughout my younger years when I did ride. And uh, never really knew much about a, a Aussie or even that they existed really. I did know about uh, English, but to me those are nothing more than saddle pads with stirrups on them, in case you don't know. The stirrup is what your feet go in down here. Um, I started, uh, how I ended up in an Aussie was that um, one day when I came out here for lessons with my daughter, uh, the, the western that I was riding was at the shop because it needed some work um, and it hadn't made it back yet. So, the only other saddle they had close to fitting me was an Australian. At first, I was very leery of it. I'd never seen one, didn't know much about one. Um, so, re re kind of reluctantly, I, I used it that week. And then, next week, when I got back, they, uh, they had the Western that I normally ride uh, back. And uh, but I told the instructor that I would try the Aussie one more time, just to give it a fair shake. Well, at the end of that, I was sold. I decided that Aussie was the way for me. Uh, a couple of key points that I really love about the Aussie, uh, Australian saddle is on this model particularly, it's got a lot of hardware to attach, you know, saddle bags and, you know, you need to do a, a, a girth strap, you know, for a hind girth strap or whatever. Um, Another thing is if you, you look at the, the leathers for the stirrups, it's actually pretty narrow, especially compared to a Western now to an English. No, English are usually only about that wide. But the good thing about it is, is my knees get hurt pretty easy. And uh, in that Western, it was, you know, the fender was so wide that it was uh, causing a lot of torque on my knees and my ankles. And it actually ended up, you know, I was hurting every single day when I got off, when I got out of the saddle. Uh, these right here are what they call, I think they call them knee pads or whatever. Or you would think they're, they would get in your way, but they're really not. They're actually very comfortable to rest against. Uh, of course, uh, Australian saddles, not all of them come with a, uh, a horn, but I went ahead and got one with the horn uh, just, I don't know, just from my days of riding a western and I really enjoyed having one. Some days I actually need it. Anyways, another thing I like is back here at the cantle. This thing is actually very contoured. It's very, uh, very comfortable to sit in. If you, you can tell, it's a very deep seat. Um, just this right here. I wear a large glove when I'm working as a paramedic on the truck. And as you can tell just from right, right there, I mean, that's a pretty tall seat. And then, you know, so it's about two of my hands stacked on top of each other from the bottom of the seat. Um, you see right here, there's a pretty good space right there. And there's a pretty good space right here. That actually allows air to flow right through it. And it, the, and it doesn't actually sit on top of his spine like a bunch of other, other saddles do. Uh, this one actually sits off to the side in the meat. Now one thing I really love about this saddle, and it's because he's real bad about it, he likes to blow. Now, in case you don't know what that means, basically he likes to puff his uh, chest out and leave it puffed out while I'm saddling up because when he releases, the saddle's not near as tight. But... It's harder for him to get away with it now. In the Western, he could get away with it real easy because the strap was very worn and you, could, uh, you couldn't really tell where it usually stayed. But see on this, 
kind of focus it better. There you go. You see these buckles sit on top of this leather and these different holes and that mark right there. That you, that develops after that buckle sits in that spot for a good while. And because of that, I'm able to tell where those buckles go. And because of that, he doesn't get away with it. Now you saw, you know, why are the two buckles? Well, one of these buckles actually goes to the overgirth, which is right here. It goes over the saddle and then down to uh, the girth strap and underneath him. The other one actually goes to the frame of the saddle itself, which is called the tree. And if we come around to the other side, You can tell that here we you know here we go again now this one that goes to the overgirth if you can see it it actually goes around a brass ring and then comes back down and buckles in and you can see those lines again now I do have to adjust uh, where I place the uh, girth strap seasonally because during the summer he does uh, tend to lose weight he is pretty old so he doesn't exactly maintain his weight during the summer. So, um, I actually really enjoy this saddle. It's a lot more comfortable, for, especially for me during the, um, you know, during long time, you know, long rides on the saddle. Like I said, they don't torque my knees and ankles near as much. Um, I tell you what, the Australians, when they designed this saddle, they did a really good job. Anyways. Those are my thoughts on the Australian saddle. And um, be safe out there. Have good rides. Bye.